What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We're back in the garage with the M4 GTS. Today we are going to be replacing those old crusty BMW M4 seat badges that are currently on our F80s, F82s. We're going to be replacing them with the new ones from BMW. Now these also illuminate just like my stock ones. However, these ones are black and they are the new design. They will not crack. But the new design is much better, much cleaner with the black outside. First, I want to give a huge shout out to Keys Motorsports for sending out these new M4 seat badges. If you guys need a set, I will have them linked down below. Let's get into the install. All right guys, so here's everything that comes in the package. This is what the actual seat badge looks like. It's all black, looks a lot better. They also come with a plug and a couple of pins that we're gonna need to use. And then of course the original OEM BMW boxes. I'm gonna show you guys what the old ones look like. You will see immediately what I mean. However, if you own an F8X car, you probably already know. And you can see how these just start to fail all along. These ones actually aren't terrible, but I've seen some really bad ones starting to crack down here. And then all over, it's got these like micro abrasions on it. They also start to crack in the corners too, which is really common. My passenger one has cracks in the corner right there. As you can see a couple of cracks right there. And yeah, they just really do not look like they are in good shape. So the first thing we wanna do before we start this install is disconnect the battery because we are gonna be snipping a couple wires. Go ahead and grab yourselves a 10 millimeter. Bring a microfiber rag back. Battery's gonna be right back here. All right, so this positioning is gonna be a little bit awkward, but um, you're gonna have to face the seat. And then what you're gonna do is there's two plastic circular clips that go inside of this. We're gonna reach in and push down so we can disconnect the clips from the upside and then pull upwards like that. Get in there. There's the second one. There's gonna be a little bit of wire that comes out with this as well. We're gonna be very gentle here, but we need a little bit of slack out of this wire. So we're just gonna pull so we can get a little more slack out of it. It doesn't give us a ton of room to pull this out, but this is about as far as I'm comfortable with pulling until I feel like something on the inside could break. But when it comes to the clips, they're pretty easy to get out. You can see right here, basically sticking your fingers in there and pushing together and then lifting up like that and pulling out. Um, you'll be able to feel the clips. It's pretty easy to get out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this wire down here, give myself plenty of slack so I can strip this and reveal the wires. Then we're gonna go strip this down here. Now on the inside, you're gonna have a yellow and a brown wire. Just keep that in mind when we are putting in our new badges, you also have a yellow and brown wire. So once we connect the new plug to the new wires, we are gonna be plugging it in. So the brown should line up with the brown, yellow with the yellow. First things first, they give you little pins that look like this. Now once we strip, these wires, the wire is gonna go in on that side and then we crimp these little edges down so it holds in there. This side of the pin will go into the plug itself. We'll go ahead and twist each wire so they're nice and straight. Now we can go ahead and slide each wire into the pin and then we will crimp it down. Here is the second one. So before we actually put these into the connector, that is what they should look like, just like that. And then we are given a connector piece like this and this is where those pins are gonna go into. You're gonna hear an audible click once you actually slide them in. It only goes on to the new badge one way. And so you gotta make sure if your yellow right here is on my right, then my yellow needs to be on my right up there. So just keep in mind you put this in the right direction and that the colors match up. So a little locking latch on the edge right there. After we pop them in, we're gonna lock that down. Go ahead and slide those in. All right, they're both in. I'm not sure if you guys could hear, but there's a tiny little audible click when they both went in. The wires are all the way up to the plug. Let me go ahead and lock it down. All right, cool. That is it for that one. And we got it all good. We can just go ahead, fish this back into the seat, and then we can just insert it. Of course, the most satisfying part to all of this. There we go. Looks much, much better. So it seems easy enough, but it is a awkward position to get these 
in the little pins and the wiring with the plugs and everything. Kind of a pain in the butt. Just be patient, stick with it, you'll get it. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the battery. I'm gonna leave you guys up front. Tell me if they turn on so I know if they're actually working. All right, you guys gotta let me know. Good? Did it work? It worked. Nice. Quite the dramatic difference. This, this one was actually separating on the bottom, I didn't even realize it. So I guarantee you, if you have an F8X with these seat badges, guaranteed they are starting to fail. This upgrade is a must. They also look really cool behind the windshield when you unlock the car. You just see the M4 glowing. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. This is a very, very easy install. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience with those pins, but if you stick with it, you'll get it. I'm gonna have everything linked down below. Again, a huge shout out to Keys Motorsports for sending out these seat badges. But just like that, we're gonna wrap this one up. Love y'all, see you in the next one, peace.